For those who still see drones as toys, the Oak Ridge Fire Department is changing that mindset, but it still has to get certification from the FAA. As WBIR 10 News reporter Rachel Whittle shows us, the department is on a mission to save both lives and money. It started out maybe as a joke. Flying drones on the job. It sounded fun to Oak Ridge firefighter engineer Adam Dougherty. After doing the research and looking into it um, all around the nation and the country, they're using them for all sorts of things. With that pitch, he caught the chief's attention. It can save thousands of dollars in equipment costs, but the savings to uh, risk to our firefighters is almost unmeasurable. Fire Chief Daryl Curley says flying the unmanned aerial systems into a hazmat scene could shave tens of thousands of dollars in expenses during a disaster. The hazmat suit's about a thousand dollars, the air pack's about six thousand, the radio's about five thousand. Reset. So we estimate about twelve thousand dollars per person that's dressed out in an encapsulated suit and it requires a minimum of four people. Drones can also shave response time instead of taking an expensive hour to dress up and walk into a danger zone. We can deploy the drone in about 10 minutes and accomplish the mission without any risk to our firefighters. It's a situation the crew is already preparing for as they fly their drone over train cars in search of leaks. Luckily, we haven't had an emergency response to the train storage area yet, but we're always preparing for the worst case scenario. That's only the start. Because most fire department ladder trucks only reach about 10 stories high, agencies are also looking into using drones in high-rise rescues. We've actually experienced this twice in the city of Clinton when we responded our tower truck to assist them on a manufacturing facility and a gentleman had a drone on site and was able to look at the roof structure for us. Uh, before we ever made entry to the roof. Presenting a clearer picture for crews, whether it's fighting structure fires or wildfires. Every call we have is different. So we have a general idea and a visual in your mind of what you're going in to be doing. Reducing risks for firefighters and increasing the chances of helping people in trouble. If we can keep the firefighters um, out of danger and use another piece of equipment, another tool, then it's, it's safe for everyone. In Oak Ridge, Rachel Whittle, 10 News. The Oak Ridge Fire Department hopes to receive its FAA certification within the next three months, maybe sooner. And for more on the regulations the department would have to follow, you can head to our website, WBIR.com.